does it mean to air prune roots? What it means is that when roots are exposed to air, they stop growing. And what that forces the plant to do is to, to put all this energy into developing the existing roots. We've all seen the case where we put a plant into a closed container, and when we take it out sometime later, it's root bound. And that's what we want to avoid. So this year, Karen and I are going to try something different. We're going to try a process by where at the bottom of the container, we leave one inch of space so when the roots grow down, they stop growing, and they put their energy into the roots above. And let me show you how we're going to do that. This is the container that I purchased at Lowe's. I think it was around five dollars each. It was a very, it was a very good price. And you can see this is a large container, and it's 18 gallons. I also have some variegated pipe. I found these on Cosby Mill Road. It's about 30 foot, and it was just laying on the side of the road, so I picked it up. But what I've done is I've cut these into sections. There's two of them. And I'm going to put these variegated pipes in the bottom. They're four inches across, so a little more than four inches. And I'm going to put these in the bottom like this. And then what I'll do, you want a one-inch space, an air space. So I'll come down here. I'll come up three inches, two to three inches. And I will take a paddle bit, and I will drill a hole. So when I fill this with water, there'll be, there'll be a one inch space and that will create the space that is needed to air prune these, these, these plants that, that we're going to grow into. Next what you do is you take some landscaping fabric, you put it down into the container, making certain that you can cover the ends of the variegated pipe. Finally, you want to use a piece of PVC. Notice I've cut it on the angle. The reason for that is why I put it down into the, um, into the container. It will allow the water to flow. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this into the container. And what I would do next is put my soil in here. I, I would water it really well for the first time um, before I plant. And then after that, I will water it through here. That's how you do air pruning. 